All right, I'm just playing around with my Polk audios that are hooked up to my Technics. I just, just uh, they're sitting in these boxes right here. There's no terminal right here though, which uh, kind of changes the sound. So when I put it in a car, I might try and. Uh, there's no terminal, and I don't really find, feel like finding a terminal, so I'll probably use some some sort of wood to cover it. It, it depends. I'll see what sounds better. But I'm I'm just playing with these things, looking at excursions real quick. <laughs> Pretty cool speakers. Let me turn it up. It's late at night though, I'm just I'm just playing around with them. These are great speakers. By the way, if anybody wants to know what they are, these are Polk Audio DB Series, 690s. They're three-way speakers. You can see all the specs right there. Three-way speaker, 100 watt RMS, 300 watt peak. They run at four ohm resistance. Got a big beefy filter cap right there. Polk Audios are amazing speakers. Not very many people know about them. I turned my friend on to Polk's. And uh, his video is actually uh, up on my channel. He blew out those Polk's though. Because uh, someone exposed him to rap. <laughs> And he pushed it just a little too hard. He seized one of his uh, one of his six by nines, but he's got a warranty on him, so he's gonna go get more. His are basically the same as these. Just this part of the speaker is more like a more like this color, but they're basically the same speaker. And of course, I've showed before. I think I showed. These are what came out of his car before. These uh, Infinity Kappa 629.9, or six, I'm sorry, 692.9 eyes. These are 4 ohm speakers, 110 watt RMS, 330 watts peak. Um, I believe these are, these are all the same specs as what's in his car right now, but, you know, he's running it on a kicker amp. You know, when you try to get too much bass out of 6x9s, that's what happens. But I'm not going to lie. 6x9s, especially these Polks, they handle bass pretty well. Anyways, I just thought I'd show the video. I've still got my Serwin Vegas right here. I'm still running on duct tape woofers just so, because I don't want to damage the voice coil when I listen to them. I mean, I do still want to listen to them, even though they are a little bit messed up, but... I mean, just taking a little extra precaution. A lot of people probably think that's stupid, but... I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm just trying to keep them from getting damaged, because these are really, really expensive vintage speakers. Now, I took that woofer out, and it says, uh... Well, both woofers are taped right now, but... Uh, it said March of 1989. So, I'm guessing these speakers were either from... 89 or 1990 The only thing is is the tweeters are not that great in the mid ranges. I barely hear anything from uh, If anybody happens to own these speakers um, Take a look and uh, Tell me if your mid ranges don't sound very loud either. I mean just turning this knob There's like one one spot where you actually hear the difference of it going down But you have to actually really listen to for, listen for that it just doesn't make much sense to me. Um, I get the feeling it has to do with the crossovers in that box. Because there's there's things with these speakers that really leave much to be desired. And I mean the subs, or I mean subs, I'm at, I'm at the woofers. I mean they're amazing, but just the rest just leaves much to be desired like I said. Um, 
anyway, so yeah, it's late at night. I'm just playing around. I fell asleep earlier today, so I'm not that tired. But that's the best time to mess around with these speakers and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, I can't wait. To, I've been looking at cars lately. Um, I found a 84 Supra Celica online. I'm looking at that. There's a couple of cars I'm looking at, but I really just can't wait to put these speakers and the rest of the system in, into my first car. I'm pretty excited for it. But uh, my stepdad gave me these Polks. These, these Polks were in his... 1972 Chevelle 350 Malibu and uh, they were also in an RV that he owned but uh, he passed them on to me now because he wasn't using them because his, his uh, Tundra has a fairly good stock system in it so but it, he passed these down to me for, for my uh, 20th birthday I'm thankful for that too these speakers are amazing I can't wait to throw them in a car Alright, well, uh, it's late, so I'm gonna conclude. <laughs> Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Alright.